Hello students. Today we are going to discuss tannin and saponin test which are performed in ethnobotany practical classes. So these tests come under phytochemical tests and as we have already discussed uh, what are phytochemical tests let us just revise. Uh, these are plant secondary metabolites or phytochemicals and they play many roles including defense mechanism against pests and pathogens, wounds and response to different environmental stresses. They also show antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial and anti-diabetic properties. So we have discussed in previous lecture uh, what are these properties which are shown by these phytochemicals which are present in plants. And we have also already discussed in previous lecture that phytochemical analysis of plants can be done from any part of the plant like we can do it from leaves, flowers, bark, seeds etc. Uh, what is the advantage of doing phytochemical test? Because we come to know the chemical constituent of plants and why it is important because it is desirable. Uh, because it is utilized for the synthesis of modern drugs, medicines and cosmetic products etc. And there are many phytochemicals which are present in plant and these include uh, drugs which are of uh, importance, medicinal importance and uh, which are present in these plants as secondary metabolites and they belong to uh, different groups like alkaloids, steroids, tannins, glycosides, phenols, flavonoids, saponin etc. So in the previous lecture we have discussed what are alkaloids and we discussed the, uh, uh, the procedure or the protocol to test alkaloids. In this lecture we will be discussing what are tannins, their tests as well as we will be discussing about saponins and their tests. So what are tannins? Tannins are astringent compounds that are widely distributed in plants. They belong to phenolic groups. So, they are a group of phenolic compounds which acts as defense against herbivores. They are responsible for bitter taste in food like tea and red wine. So, the astringency of tea is because of the tannins. Tannins also have antioxidant properties and they are often used in uh, tanning leather and in the production of ink and dyes. So this was about tannins. What are saponins? Saponins are secondary metabolites which are widely distributed in plants and they are named after their ability to form foam or leather when they are mixed with water. So because of foaming action and uh, because of the foaming action or the leather formation they are sometimes used in the production of soaps and detergents which are used in herbal uh, cosmetic products and saponins also have a role in defense against diseases, microbes and fungi. So this was a brief introduction of tannins and saponins. Now when we do tannin test what is the principle behind this test? Tannins are polyphenolic compounds commonly found in plants and they give astringency to the plants. This we have discussed. The test involves adding ferric chloride solution to the sample and if the tannin is present, so uh, it gives a greenish precipitate on addition of ferric chloride solution. So this was the principle of tannins test. Saponin's test principle is that uh, first of all saponins are natural compounds which form stable foam when shaken with water. So uh, there is a very simple test of saponin. The test involves vigorous shaking of the sample with water and the formation of foam uh, or leather indicates the presence of saponin. So these are the two principles of tannins and saponins. What are the requirements of doing this practical? So first of all we require fresh leaves of different plants. We can also do it from uh, dry leaves but uh, in this lecture we, we are doing discussing how to perform it with fresh leaves 
and the chemicals which are required are 5% ferric chloride made in 90% alcohol. The glassware includes conical funnel, flask, beakers, test tubes, measuring cylinder, pipettes, etc. And the miscellaneous products which are required for this practical are pestle motor, cotton, filter paper, funnel, funnel stand, uh, muslin cloth, distilled water. So, uh, what is the procedure of doing this test? The first step involves extraction. So, during extraction, what do we do? We crush leaves in and grind them using a pestle and mortar to make a fine taste. Uh, so, what is the ratio of leaf uh, and distilled water? It is 5 is to 1 is to 5 ratio. This we have discussed in previous lecture also. So, suppose if you have 20 gram of leaf, so you will crush it and grind in 100 ml of water. If you have 1 gram of leaf, you require 5 ml of water. And then after grinding, it is filtered using muslin cloth and the filterate uh, is used for doing phytochemical tests. So, for the test of tannins, take, which is also called ferric chloride test, take 2 ml of this extract, add 2 ml of distilled water in a test tube. And add a few drops of 5% ferric chloride solution in 90% alcohol, which is made in 90% alcohol. And the formation of a green precipitate gives the indication that the tannins are present in the sample. Now, for the test of supponents, take 2 ml of the extract, add 10 ml of distilled water in a test tube, shake vigorously, and the formation of foam indicates saponin leave the test tube for uh, say 5 minutes to 10 minutes and if the foam persists it gives indication the uh, that the saponins are present in the sample so like uh, these are some of the pictures showing the test of tannin and saponin uh, which uh, you have already done in lab so uh, like in the first picture which uh, is of sizes quadrangularis which is also called harjod in hindi so in the first tube you can see that the test of tannin is negative because there is no precipitate at the bottom of the test tube so this is ne this is giving a ne negative uh, or very feeble test of tannin and if you see the saponin test it is total negative there is uh, or you just see very less uh, foam formation you can see a uh, few foam like uh, foam uh, at the in the test tube now the second picture which shows the tests of azadirachta indica uh, which is neem plant and when you see the tannin test you, you see that there is very uh, high precipitate which is formed the concentration of the precipitate which is at the bottom of the test tube is very high you can see it is blackish in color and you can see a lot of foam formation so this is uh, saponin test is also positive in azadirachta indica which is neem now the third tube uh, is your tinospora cordifolia third a picture shows the red one the marked in red one text is marked in red one so this is tinospora cordifolia which is also called giloy so you can see that saponin test is positive and tannin test is also positive when you, but when you compare it with uh, azadirachta indica you can see it it has less precipitate compared to a neem now you can see the next picture is of aliocarpus genitrus which is your rudraksh so you can see the saponin test is also positive you can see lot of foam formation and the tannin test is also positive here there is lot of uh, green precipitate at the bottom of the test tube and you can also see the precipitate uh, some some uh, granules of uh, or the molecules of precipitate uh, sticking to the test tube and then the last picture is of santhalum album which is your sandalwood so you can see the press tannin test uh, the precipitate has formed and it is it will settle down at the bottom of test tube after some time and the saponin test is also positive but very feeble test so these are the tests which you have already performed in lab and these are when you see a comparison of all the five plants for tannins and supplements you can just see that 
uh, in the test for tan ends you can see a gradation or the variation of precipitate formed in test tubes in different test tubes showing different plants so you can see that the first two plants are of sizes quadrangular which is your hardor you can see very feeble test um, very low precipitate at the bottom of the test tube the third test tube is of tenospora cordifolia called giloi uh, it has more compared to sizes then comes azadirecta indica uh, you can see uh, the uh, precipitate is, um, is comparatively more than tenospora cordifolia next is santalum album which is your um, sandalwood and last is your rudraksh aliocarpus genitrus so you can see that it is showing highest concentration of uh, greenish precipitate in rudraksh and lowest in harjor then you see the test for supplements so this is exactly the, the photograph is not showing the lather formation but you can see that uh, it is uh, and almost negligible in uh, sizes Quadrigualis, which is your hardwood plant, then a little in Azadirachta indica, which is neem, and then Santalum album, Tinospora, and you see highest in Rudraksh. So this is these. This slide shows the comparison of the different plants which were tested for tannins and saponins. And these are some more plants uh, showing the test uh, of uh, tannins, and uh, you you see that what are these plants? This is your, um, these are different plants. So you can see that all the plants are showing positive tests. And you can see that the, because greenish precipitate has been formed at the bottom of the test tube. So it's reflection because of the, that reflection. And the, uh, the supernatant test has is seen in black or brown color. So this is the comparison of supernatant test done for different plants. And you can see that uh, very few plants are showing the, uh, the test positive for supplements although the pictures uh, are actually uh, not overlapping with the test tube rack and you cannot see the foam formation but it, uh, you know that this is a very simple test and the lather formation or foam formation uh, gives the indication that supplement is present so i hope these tests are clear to you and uh, the concepts are clear to you so you can read uh, ethnobotany by sk jan for this and you can also refer to different sources web sources to understand it more so see you in next lecture thank you students